Before we get into this video, I want you to hit the like button. There's a lot of pro tips in this video. Get your pencil and pad. Jot down anything that you didn't already know. You know what I'm saying? Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. Beef versus chicken. You can also do turkey or fish or whatever. Man, we're going to get into it, man. All right. Proteins. Let's talk proteins. All right. You got ground beef. You got ground chicken. You can also eat fish, um, turkey, whatever. It don't got to be ground. It could be full meat chunks or whatever or full. Hold on. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Chicken, breast, chicken, legs, thighs, wings. They're all protein. Meat. If you're eating meat, you're eating protein, all right? But we talking about, you know, we talk about ground right now. We can talk about beef versus chicken. You got steaks and all kind of other meats. But we're talking about ground beef versus ground chicken and why because a lot of times i'm just saying for me personally i like just cooking ground it's easy stir it up you know go back another room i don't know i just like i don't know whatever that's just my choice whatever your choice is but we're going to talk about the difference that's the point of this video i usually like ground beef ground beef is delicious i like it people say red meat this red meat that but when I'm dieting, as I further my diet, I'm to the stage where I switch to chicken or turkey. And why? Why? Let me show you the macro. Always look at the back of your packages, whatever you're eating. This ground beef is almost gone. But ground beef is very high in calories. Um, pound for pound, you know what I'm saying? Look at this. Calories per serving. 170 calories for the ground chicken per serving 280 calories per serving per four ounces same thing four ounces right if you're gonna eat the whole container like i am that's times four so would you rather have four times 107 or four times 280 anybody that knows weight loss knows calories in versus calories out trumps any diet i don't care what type of diet you're on if you're a vegan then this video might not apply to you um it might offend you a little bit i don't mean to offend anybody but i'm gonna eat what i'm gonna eat you know what i'm saying i don't disagree with anything anybody else does for their own personal self just throw that out there um because i got a lot of friends that's vegan i think i got family members that's vegan my thing is i don't disagree with a vegan diet at the end of the day um my only advice is for people that's going vegan or thinking about it Make sure you learn how to get your protein in. I'm not the one for that because I don't do vegan. I say beans and some nuts or I don't know. You got to figure it out because a lot of people that go vegan, they just start eating vegetables and fruits and then they just don't even think about protein. You know what I'm saying? But let's, let's carry on. And you know why the calories are so much lower? Okay, you know, zero carbs for both, roughly. Zero carbs. The protein is about the same. Well, no. 19 grams of protein for the um, the beef, 22 grams of protein for the chicken. So the chicken is winning two to one already. But do you know why the, the calories are so much higher for the beef than it is the chicken? Because you got to remember your macros, right? Every gram of protein is four. Every gram of protein is four calories. Every gram of fat is nine calories. Every gram of carb is also four calories. But we're looking at fat and carb. Uh, we're looking at fat and protein right here. Look at the fat count. 22 grams of fat per serving. All of this is per serving. This has nine grams of fat per serving. Now, yes, this is the 80-20. When you buy ground beef, always look at the fat to lean content. This is the 80-20. So this is pretty lean. You got 90 some percent lean too, beef. But I don't eat that. Because it tastes like crap. It tastes like paper. I don't, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? I like the fattier beefs. So instead of eating the leaner beefs when I'm ready to eat the leaner beefs, no, I just switch from chicken. I switch to chicken or I switch to turkey. For most of my meals. That's not saying I'm not going to eat beef. That means most of my meals... But I'm trying to diet are going to be, my protein is going to be chicken or turkey. You know what I'm saying? You also have eggs, which pretty much come from chicken. So I'm going to say it's still chicken. 
But you know, you got different sources of protein. A lot of people always ask me, what kind of protein shakes do you take? What kind of protein shake? Because most people think that supplements are the, your bread and butter, and I understand why I can't talk crap about them because I was worse than you if you wanted them. You know what I'm saying? When I first started lifting, I brought every supplement in the store. I'm also gonna show you a little of my carbs. I had a I had a shopping video yesterday. A lot of people say, "Oh, you eat packaged um, foods. You eat um, non you eat processed foods here and there." But I try to keep like 90% of my foods when I'm on a diet or when I further my diet natural, natural food. One one ingredient food. You know what I'm saying? You know, I try to stay away from fast food so much, I still eat it. I don't cut anything out of my diet, I cut things down. You know what I'm saying? Because the number one thing that you're looking for, and the reason I switched from beef to chicken, you know, for most of my uh, diet, is because of what? Calories in versus calories out. You got intermittent fasting, you got keto diet, you can name a million other diets, but the number one thing that's going to keep you those are tools. Your bread and butter on a diet is calories in versus calories out. More important than any type of diet. You know what I'm saying? Before a lot of these diets became popular, what people was dieting on? How was people losing weight? Because they was cutting their calories. But, let me give you a pro tip real quick. Before you learn how many, before you start counting your calories, you need to learn your maintenance calories. I got videos on that. Go through my catalog. You need to learn how many calories you personally need to eat. Personally. Your, your calorie amount is going to be different than mine. Whoever sitting next to you, left to you, right of you, in front of you, and back of you, all your calorie amounts is going to be different. You know what I'm saying? Because of your activity level, because your size, because of your lean mass, how much muscle you got on your body, how much body fat. Everything is going to come into play. Whether you're male or female, you know what I'm saying? Everything is going to come into play. So if you got this far in this video, you're a real MVP. If you need help on finding your maintenance calories, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Holla at me. I'll probably tell you to hit me up on Facebook or um, Instagram. Also do TikTok. My TikTok is the same as my, <laughs> as my YouTube, Rapid Time Fitness. But hit me up, and I'll help you find your maintenance calories. And my... My advice for when you find your maintenance calories, only go slightly. Like, let's say, for instance, your maintenance calories, I would just throw an easy number out there so I can do easy math. This ain't your maintenance calories. If your maintenance calories is 2,000 calories, you don't need to be anywhere near 1,000. You don't cut your calories in half. You only go down by a few hundred. You know what I'm saying? No matter how aggressive you want your weight loss to be, but if you go down too much, your weight loss is going to stall. You're going to hit a brick wall. Or you're going to get so hungry that you're going to break. We're only human beings. We're not perfect. You're going to mess up. Then you're going to start binge eating and you can probably gain weight. You know what I'm saying? That's the worst case scenario. I know a dude right now. I was trying to give him the same advice that I'm giving you right now. He was like two. He probably won. He's probably 230, give or take, I'm going to say. Right now, he's sitting at like 300 pounds because... He tried to force it. I told him, dog, don't force it. He was starving himself, starving himself. He had lost like 20 pounds real quick. He's like, yeah, man, I'm down about 210, 2 whatever. And I seen him. I could tell he was leaning up. Then he gave up because he was biting off more than he can chew. Most people lose like 5 or 10 pounds. We can probably all relate. I used to do this. I know this because of experience. Everything I'm saying is because of experience, man. Yo, hit, hit that like button if you liking what I'm saying, man. But yeah, man, from experience, hit that like button, hit that share button with somebody who might, you might have been trying to tell the same thing and they wouldn't get it. Share with that person. Yo, I got videos where I go further, but this is mostly about beef versus chicken. So we're going to get back to that. Red meat, harder to digest. I love beef more than any other meat. You know what I'm saying? I hate to let it go. I'm not letting it go. Like I said, I'm cutting it down. I might eat this once or twice a week compared to every other day or every day. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I got videos telling you about veggies, the importance of veggies, 
the volume of veggies. Matter of fact, let me throw that in there real quick for that little extra advice. Fruits, fruits. Mm. When you're really on a diet and you're really cutting your calories really low, it's good to still get some fruits, but fruits, you gotta, you gotta really watch your calories. So I'm not saying don't eat fruit because fruit is good for you, it's natural. But when you're going for weight loss, make sure you're in those. If your calories that you're shooting for is 1600, 1700, 1800, mine's a little higher because I'm a muscular dude. Right now I'm shooting for like 2500. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning of my diet, I started with like 2800. Because at the end of my bulk, I was doing like a little over 3000. You know? And, 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 and bulking and cutting. It's for everybody, but it ain't at the same time. Like dirty bulking and, and eating 5,000, 6,000 calories, that's only for drug using bodybuilders, all right? If you're not one of them, don't be eating no five, six, seven thousand calories, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, it's only gonna go, whatever ain't used is gonna get stored. Whatever ain't used is gonna get wasted in the toilet, dookie. And the rest of it gonna get stored as fat. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you about vegetables real quick. Me personally, I usually do mix uh, frozen veggies for convenience and also for variety. You know, I work 12 and a half hours for the, you know, before I get into why you should eat a lot of vegetables. Besides the, you got macronutrients, which is protein, fats, and carbs. Then you got micronutrients, um, vitamins, minerals, fiber, etc. But besides the importance of antioxidants and micronutrients, we mostly talking, that is very important, by the way. We're mostly talking about calories in versus calories out. Look at the calories for a serving. So you can eat about as many servings as you want. Let's say you ate 10 servings. 10 servings, is, you probably not going to even eat that. But that's only 200 calories if you did. Vegetables, volume. Make sure you eat a bunch of vegetables, especially as you get leaner, especially as you further your diet because you want to cut your calories slowly. Like I say, if your maintenance calories started at 200, I mean 2,000, it's not going to stay 2,000. When you lose about 10 pounds, you're going to have a new maintenance calories, which means you're going to have to cut your calories a little bit more. Stair step, baby steps. I always tell people to take baby steps. Same thing with lifting. Take baby steps. Find out. Don't even find out how strong, how strong you really are. Lift some weights that you're comfortable with. Don't go too heavy. Focus on your form. And when your form gets a little better, then start adding weight. You know what I'm saying? Slightly. You know what I'm saying? Dude just tore his peck the other day. I ain't gonna keep on saying his name in my video because I'm not clout chasing. This is all facts. But it's a popular thing going around where a dude tore his chest muscle. He tore his pec muscle. Literally, you can injure yourself. All right, so be careful in the gym. Also, look at this spinach. For this whole thing, which I ate some of out of it, the whole thing, look at this. Always look at your serving size. One package. So if you ate the whole package, how many calories you got? 35. So you can fill up all veggies. Get as much protein as you need. Um, For guys, I, I think it's different for women. I'm going to look it up and I'm gonna give you all the information. But for guys, you want one pound, I mean, you want one gram per lean pound of body mass you got. So me personally, I need about 170 to 200 grams of protein. You know what I'm saying? So bam, that's my pro tips for the day. Um, if you learned anything and you ain't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. If you ain't hit that like button yet, you made this far in this video, hit the like button, help the algorithm, help the message get out to more people. Um, I do do fasting, so at the end of the day, I'm probably close to 20 hours of fasting. I ain't even done my math yet. I know I'm way over 16, but uh, I got videos about that too. How to fast, how long should you fast, what different types of fast what fads might fit you or you know you might like something else like i you might think i'm dissing keto i don't diss keto i just like my carbs you know what i'm saying so keto ain't really the way for me you got to find out what's for you you got to study that diet that's why a lot of people fail on their diets man i'm telling you because they see something somebody else is doing and they think wow that's the only way to lose weight um i can't do that so i can't lose weight you got to explore your options man Something that might be the right way for one. I, that's why I'm not the flag flyer. That's why I say I fast, but I always tell people, you don't have to fast. People have been fasting for decades before it got, probably hundreds of years before it got popular, but it's just been popular, what, 
10, 20 years. Uh, probably not even 20 years. I knew about it like seven, eight years ago when I found about it. You know what I'm saying? And I was skeptical at first until I found out, hey, this stuff is actually, you know what I'm saying, good. But my main thing is there's a lot of benefits to it. But my main reason for fasting is because calories in versus calories out. It helps me stay on my deficit when I only got a few hours to eat instead of all day to eat. You see what I'm saying? If you wake up, if you did eight hours of sleep, and that means you woke 16 hours. So within a 16-hour eating window compared to, let's say you did an eight-hour eating window or a four-hour eating window, which one you think you're going to overeat on the most? If you're going over your maintenance calories, which means you're in a surplus, that is going to make you gain weight. If you're eating at your maintenance, you're going to stay the same. If you're eating under your maintenance, you're going to lose weight, period. But don't bite off more than you can chew, straight up. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe. Holler back at your boy. Peace.